exactly as culturally involved as Ray, but I am involved in just about every other aspect of NIU. Um, I'm an honor student. I'm part of the pre-law honor society, so a pre-professional um, honor society. I'm also a president of a model United Nations club mm -hmm. that deals with my major. Um, I'm also in one of the, the fraternities, but it's a co-ed fraternity, mm -hmm. so it's guys and girls. Um, it's a community service oriented club, so. APO? APO. Okay. Yeah, go APO. Go APO. <laughs> Um, we're the largest student-run organization on campus. We're about 200 people strong. We're very, very large and very, very powerful. Um, so it's very nice to be a part of such a great group. Um, so I'm, a, I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'm a part of 11 organizations. Um, and I have five leadership roles. Um, I'm also on some boards and um, committees. Um, and then along, I just, NIU's been such a great, great decision for me. Um, I didn't actually want to come here to begin with. Um, NIU isn't always everyone's first choice, but it always ends up being everyone's first choice. Um, people are very glad that they come here. I hardly ever hear of people having a horrible experience. Um, you get in what you, you get out what you put into it. So if you try and you want to get involved and you do the best you can, you will have a great time. Um, as far, I've studied abroad as well. Um, I went to Europe over the summer. And I went to the Netherlands, mm -hmm. so that was cool. Um, just being in a different environment. I don't know Dutch. <laughs> it was different for me. Um, so, yeah, it was it was cool. So I kind of know where you guys are coming from. Um, but, from Italy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, um, but so, yeah, I mean, just being able to create networks, as everyone has said, um, the friendships, the camaraderie, that's come from all of the things I've been able to get involved with. Um, the classes even that I'm in right now as a junior, because as um, Susanna said, your junior and senior year, you focus more on your specialties, what you came mm -hmm. here to study. And right now, I'm in classes that I'm actually going to start my own business mm -hmm. in right now that I started yesterday, actually. And then um, I'm also in a social activism class that I'm doing something with as well. So mm -hmm. NIU really pushes you to go after what you want to do in life. Um, and uh, yeah, so I mean, it's not to say that I'm not Latino, because I obviously am. <laughs> but to answer your question, um, I'm half Puerto Rican, half Mexican. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of strange, because um, <laughs> I don't happen very often, because yeah. the two kind of clash. You're not strange. You have the best of both worlds. Yeah, I, right. I love it. The food is great. The people <laughs> are awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so it's a blessing um, for me, I think, because I get to see two different perspectives. Um, I see it, my, mom, my mother's Puerto Rican, so I see it from her, mm -hmm. and she was, as Raya mentioned, a naturalized citizen, whereas my dad was not. Mm -hmm. They both came, my mom came from Puerto Rico, my dad came from Mexico, and they met up here. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's a lot of, um, within the Latino community, there are disparities, like my whole, we're, within my family, we're the only children, me and my brother, that are, that are mixed. Mm -hmm. My whole dad's side is Mexican, my whole mom's side is Puerto Rican. So me and my brother are really the, the little hybrids, um, per se. So it's really nice just to be able to, to identify with the different cultures and the different, um, yeah, and the different food. I don't know, I love food. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it just gives you a different point of view. Um, because you can see it from both ends. And you, I, the way I grew up, most um, Latinos grew up in the city. I grew up in the country. Mm -hmm. um, so I have that other point of view. So it's just nice to come together and just to see what everyone has to bring to the table in terms of like different Latino students um, and just how we all grew up differently and how we all had different experiences. So I do feel like I have a, a community here that I can go back to and express those things with. My, both of my neighbors at my apartment um, are, his, are Latinos. So it's really nice to have that little baby community around me. Just it's like I can go. It's like a home away from home when I'm with my Latino brothers and sisters per se. So thank you.